Hello and welcome by another art tutorial. Well, actually this uh, will be on my tips and tricks uh, playlist on my channel because I'm going to talk about how I varnish my oil paintings and I will do a, a little demonstration on uh, how I varnish uh, the paintings uh, with this Indian boy. This is one of my paintings I uh, did uh, recently and I will have a link pop up uh, by now if you want to see the tutorial about this painting. But today uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I varnish my oil paintings. So let's get started. And I really like the Gamblin Gumfar Gloss Furnace and uh, I'm just applying directly the furnace onto the painting. You also can put it in a, a separate container next to your painting and pick it up with your paintbrush. But I've done this uh, quite some time so I'm just, uh, I like this method. Uh, it's more easy, of, it's a bit easier for me to do it this way. But if you are not certain how much a furnace you need, just uh, use a little container and grab it, uh, pick it up with your paintbrush and then apply it smoothly onto your canvas and I like to um, move my brush in the same direction over and over and um, you can um, get it uh, from the left to the right or just depending on what you like but I'm making the same brush strokes again and I'm slightly um, taking my brush over the whole painting. And I'm not trying to come back on sections where I've been earlier on too many times or too often because uh, it can uh, cause some damages there because the furnace can, um, yeah, it's quite uh, dry quite quickly. So don't, uh, you can have some time to uh, redo uh, it if you uh, miss some spots, but try to get it uh, as quickly as you can. You don't have to rush it, but you don't want to uh, rework it too many times. You can see here I'm reworking it again and that will be my last time because now I have uh, every uh, section of the painting uh, varnished. But yeah, keep that in mind. And this is the only brand as far as I know that you can apply when the oil, oil painting is dry to the touch. So keep that in mind if you are using a, a different brand, you may not use it as quickly as I do. I, most of the times when I'm finished my oil paintings, the day uh, after I'm finished my paintings, I can apply this varnish because it's dry to the touch. And that is also because I'm using a, um, um, a liquid that will dry, uh, speed up the drying time and also I'm using uh, thin layers of oil paint. So my paints are uh, dry quite quickly or, or even uh, dry to the touch. And therefore I can use this gum for the day after I'm uh, finished my paintings. But if you apply your oil paint uh, thicker or you have a different brand of varnish, keep it in mind, you cannot always uh, use your varnish the next day. That's very important because you can ruin your painting and that's not uh, what we want, of course. So keep that in mind. And also, I like to mention that I have a comparison between the gum for gloss version and the satin version. It's also on, over on this channel, and I will have a link pop up right now. If you like, you can check that out because there are some differences between the both. But personally, I like the gloss version. I really like the gum for. Uh, also, the satin version will help to give you colors a bit of more vibrant uh, feel. It, it gives it a more richer feel, I can say. But the gloss furnace is just a personal preference. I really like the gloss over um, on my painting. So therefore, I'm choosing the gloss version. But maybe you like the satin version. And if you, will ha uh, if you want to have an um, idea of how the boat uh, look, I have, uh, like I said, a tutorial on that also. Well, thank you for watching and I hope to see you at one of my next tutorials.